American citizens were involved in an attempted coup d'etat that left at least three people dead on Sunday in the Democratic Republic of Congo, a military spokesperson told CNN Monday. The attempted coup, which targeted the residents of Congolese politician Vital Khmer in the country's presidential palace, was led by opposition leader Christian Malenga, who was killed in a gun battle between the armed Puchists and the presidential guards, according to Army spokesman General Sylvain Akinj. Akinj also claimed Malenga was a U.S. citizen, though the State Department said later it had no records of him. I confirmed the death of Christian Malenga neutralized during the exchange of fire at the Paleta La Nation, presidential palace. Ikinj told CNN, adding that Malenga's son Marcel was among those arrested. Ikinj named three other Americans, identified as Benjamin Rubenzalman Poland, Patrick Ducey, and Taylor Thompson were involved in the foiled coup. Patrick Ducey and Taylor Thompson are the same person who have two different identities. We're going to check his passport, he added. U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said the U.S. is aware of two other individuals reported to be U.S. citizens who were in custody after the failed coup attempt. Miller said privacy laws prevented him from confirming whether or not the U.S. had reached out to the Congolese government to be granted consular access to the two individuals. Videos widely shared on social media, but not verified by CNN, showed a man with a bloody face being surrounded by Congolese military personnel. U.S. Ambassador to the DRC, Lucy Tamlin, said in a post on social media platform X, that she was shocked by reports of the attempted coup, adding that her country will cooperate with the DRC authorities to the fullest extent as they investigate these criminal acts and hold accountable any U.S. citizen involved in criminal acts. It is not immediately known whether President Felix Chisikati, who secured re-election for a second term after last December's disputed vote, was at the presidential palace during the attack. Sunday's incident was the second coup attempt by the now-deceased Malenga, a former Congolese military veteran, Akinj told CNN. He tried it without success in 2017, Akinj said, but did not provide further details. Malenga, 41, who had been exiled in the U.S., headed the United Congolese Party, which describes itself as an opposition political party in exile. Flanked by his son and other armed men in military fatigue, Malenga was seen in a live-streamed video posted on his Facebook page railing against Chisiketi's government and Khmer on the morning of the attack, accusing them of doing many stupid things in this country, according to Reuters. A DRC government statement commended the prompt reaction of the DRC's security forces in foiling the attack, stating that two police officers stationed at politician Khmer's home were killed on the spot. The DRC, Sub-Saharan Africa's largest nation, is one of the five poorest countries in the world, according to the World Bank, despite its vast mineral wealth. Parts of the Central African nation are almost overrun by armed militia groups who mastermind deadly attacks against civilians in their battle for territory and control over the country's natural resources. Sub-Saharan Africa has grappled with a spate of coups, with the latest happening last August in Gabon, the DRC's Central African neighbor. The African Union condemned Sue CNN's Kylie Atwood, contributed to this report, day's coup attempt in the DRC, and welcomed the control of the situation by the country's security forces.